Very good afternoon, Dev. How do you read? Good afternoon, sir. Radio 5. How do you read? Radio 5. How are you doing today? Doing well, sir. Never been better. Very nice. Welcome to your first live. I hope you are prepared. Before we start with your mock, I would... Uh, Um, we would just start discussing with all your doubts. Okay, sir. Okay. And uh, after we have cleared all your doubts. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, doubts that I have, if I have it in my parking lot, well, Uh, so what exactly is like radio check? Mm -hmm. What else? Give me all your doubts. Okay, sir. So can I start telling you? Tell me all your doubts. One is radio check. Carry yes, on. Sir. Yes, sir. Should we say I say again call and then move to the next ATC? Which is the continue speaking all your doubts. Yes, sir. Who assigns FIRs? What is hot mic? What are the two numbers denoted in uh, a restricted area? Like, for example, B, A, R, 3, 4. Like, what are the two numbers that are there after a restricted area? And uh, for reference, it's on chart near DME zone gear on chart 1. If uh, we come across a restricted area or a danger area, what call are we supposed to give? Is it Mayday or Pan Pan? Then, uh, then, uh, uh, one, in one of the lectures you had mentioned, you can, uh, you mentioned take off leg or departure leg can we you know tell i mean in our calls can we interpret take off leg and departure leg as upwind leg what is the difference between pre flight check and uh, radio check like the readability check Uh, in our RT log, the report for uh, saying altitude 3500 feet, can we write it as A, alpha, that is alpha uh, A, altitude 3500, or is it mandatory to write 3500 feet? What else? Then... Um, Sir. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, sir. Check if you have any more questions. Yes, sir. Sir, yeah, this one question. Um, how to determine a uh, sit and a star if initial approach fix fix is initial approach fix known as a holding point? And initial approach course is basically traveling from that holding point and continuing to the intermediate approach fix. And then holding over there and then going to the final approach fix and course. Mm -hmm. uh, 
then uh, what happens if TCAS failure is there on ground? What call are we supposed to give? Like, can we give unable RB? I don't know if we can give unable RBSM, but that's one doubt that I re just got today. So that's pretty much it. See if you have anything else. I think if there are any doubts you're waiting to clear. Um, what call? Oh, sir, what call to give if you have to request current visibility of aerodrome or while departure? Say again. So, what call are we supposed to give as a pilot if we have if I have to request current visibility of aerodrome or while departure? What else? And uh, if aerial photography comes, like what call can we give? How can we phrase it in our own words? What else? Sir, uh, that's. Sir, are there cell call markings on the chart? I, I mean, I don't know if that's even. Needed, but it just came across my mind. Other than that, sir, main doubts were all these. What did you say? Cell call marking on charts? Yes, sir. How, like, I mean, it's, it, no, sir, I think it's not a relevant, I mean, I think that's not even a qu proper, proper question. Where have you got all these questions from? They must be discussed in your, what, recently asked question exams, right? Like, I'm getting a sense of it. Not actually, sir. Uh, some questions while most of the questions while I was watching your lectures, I got it. This, sir, disregard this last question. I don't think so. It's, I think that time I did not understand what cell call is. That's why I wrote it over here. No problem. Anything else? Think about it. So, uh, so as of now I am not uh, not able to recollect any major doubts that I have if I have any I'll whatsapp it to you sir if it's okay with you Sure, why not? Anytime. If there's anything other than these, I've mm -hmm. marked, I've written out whatever questions that have come in my head. Jesse, any question has come, I've written it down, sir. This was very particular. Now, we have not covered Sedan Star in lectures because these days, because Sedan Star has been upgraded to Ariana, and Ariana is a very complex. Uh, way of navigation with respect to arrival departures also. So I don't know where this is coming from. If you could tell me the source. So uh, actually mm -hmm. one attempt that I gave uh, that was the uh, Hyderabad attempt over there uh, when I did, I mean, I, I think I did tell you that for part one I did clear it and I moved on to part two but that was all because I just knew one of the question papers I told you this also once and uh, sir, uh, uh, they gave me a chart and that was something that I never prepared also properly for part two. I was not really prepared, but later on, I, you know, came to know that it was a standard instrument departure. So that in that reference, I had, you know, asked you this, sir. Okay. What is the question asked to you? Say again. Sir, the... The, the 
the person the official asked me if how to uh, what is the in, initial approach fix what radial it is in what is and a lot of questions he asked me about it and i and i really couldn't i couldn't get it sir when was this exam so back in it was just before the delhi attempt no tell me year and month mainly year so 2023 uh okay 2023 3 months before uh, i mean just before the delhi attempt that was around uh fine no, october no, sir no worries october november first week november first week no worries uh, again tell me about i say again what was the exact doubt can you call the next atc by saying i say again is that what you were asking no sir the i say again doubt was uh Ah uh, yeah, so basically, sir, the for after I say transmitting blind after I give the call, and in the end, should I can I write I S A I say again into two, or should I write the whole call in the R T log? See, when you are talking about R T logs and the exam, everything that you say, you have to write it. Okay, sir. It means if you are repeating the call twice, so the second part you have to write it. Okay, sir. Everything you say, you have to write it. Even if you're cross talking, even if you're saying I say again, even if you're saying read you to say again all, Victor Dangwal for Brother Charlie. Anything you say should be written in chronology. Okay, sir. Understood, sir. Mm-hmm. Let's just write it down. Understand more than writing down. Understand and try to yes, remember. Sir. So you cannot write multiplied by two. You have to speak it twice. You have to write it twice. Simple. Oh, just sir. Took a note of it right now. Remember it also. Yes, Aerial sir. photography is nothing but your sector flying call. So you have to request sector. You would already know what photography you are going to do. So between the range, wherever you are going to photograph, check your radials. Check your DME. Take a flight level. It could be five zero six zero seven zero. Give duration two zero minutes, three zero minutes. Then you can just say request sector flying for aerial photography. Okay. All will go to. It can be requested from ground. It can be requested from Travo. Whichever it is, it will approve that. Ideally, because you will be in the vicinity of the aerodrome, so the call should go to tower. But your startup and everything would be with respect to sector flying only. So this is that kind of flight where you don't have a destination. Your departure and arrival both are the same aerodrome, so you'll just take off. You'll go in that sector. Now, what is sector? If this is my ground station, if this is my runway and everything aerodrome, then all these radials become my sectors. Whatever I choose, radials are magnetic directions from. So it's just like zero nine and zero. This will become one three five. This will be one eight zero. This will be two seven zero, and so on. So, if you want to do photography in this area, which is within, let's say, three five nautical miles or three five DME to five zero DME, so five zero DME and these radials here, we can see it's zero four five to zero nine zero. So you'll say request sector flying radial. Zero four five to radial zero nine at zero five zero DME or less. Flight level six zero. Duration two zero or three zero, whatever you think will take minutes. So Mumbai Tower, Victor Tango Alpha Bravo Charlie. 
tan 2 Cessna 172 passenger on board 2 security check cleared would like to carry out sector flying for aerial photography radial 0 thief a correction would like to carry out sector flying for aerial photography radial 045 to radial 05 uh, correction radial 045 to radial 090 five zero dme or less flight level six zero duration two zero minutes request startup and sector flying information shall this is a combination of startup call when you have to take a sector flying request also aerial photography vr calibration ils calibration search and rescue and then um, pesticide sprinkling mineral survey all this are a part of sector flying only simple so you have to have your instinct kick in such intense and be use resources with whatever you have and think about what will you do request visibility call talk to tower and you can say request atc information atc information will give you all information with respect to active runway runway visual range visibility is rvr either you ask atc information or you monitor at us or deatus or you can simply say request rvr all this will go to tower ideally but ADC information can also be taken by ground or it can be monitored from atus or deatus you stand by on sid and star tikas failure how to write altitude you don't have to say altitude you'll simply write three five thousand feet that's it you will write in numbers, but you will speak in the way you are taught to speak. Yes. If it's three five, it's thirty five thousand five hundred. Then you will say three five five hundred feet. But thirty five cannot be used as an RT number. Takeoff or departure leg. Now there are different diagrams in different places, so there's a confusion. But if this is wind, then you land opposite to wind always. So here you have your finals, you have your base leg, you have your laid downwind, and you have your downwind, mm -hmm. and this is your take off leg. Okay, this generally can be called as crosswind. This upwind thing is a confusion in certain diagrams. Okay, so if this is if this is downwind, then with respect to this, they can call this upwind also in certain diagrams. In certain diagrams, crosswind is given as upwind. So go with the diagram that we have given you and stick to that only. Okay, so takeoff leg, departure leg is one and the same. Finals, you know, 0 to 4 nautical miles. Short finals, 0 to 2. And long finals, 4 to 8 nautical miles. With respect to restricted area or danger area. Now, restricted area is like you being intercepted so if you are intercepted by fighter jet it's a mayday call so entering restricted area is a mayday call prohibited area is also a mayday call restricted area has certain restrictions you cannot fly above uh, below a certain altitude while prohibited area you will not be able to fly at any altitude slight uh, differences in layman's terms danger area is not safe because of uh, maybe high mountain region, high terrain, or it could be high weather turbulence area. So with respect to that, all these conditions could go into May Day. Otherwise, what you should do, if you come across a region like this on your charts, it will be given like this somewhere. And if it's VAR 34, you were saying, 34 is just the number of the restricted area in the region of the AFSRA with V and then A is the FIR. So Mumbai FIR restricted area number 34. So we would have restricted area numbers starting from probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 onwards. Although not all are mentioned on our hypothetical charts. So now if, if, if this is something that you see, 
it's restricted area number 34 in my Mumbai FIR because FIR code should be seen. If I see a route going like this, then you check your NOTAM given to you or any instruction given to you in your other information with respect to exam. And accordingly, you can ask for a diversion like this. Okay. Simple. For danger also, prohibited also, restricted also. Or you can take this diversion like this and you can join like this also. But generally, we'll take it like, I'll turn left, so many nautical miles. Then I'll turn right. And then I'll again turn right and join at this point and estimate. So deviation to avoid restricted area. Thereafter, rejoining clearance over certain estimated point. So you remember this for all these three areas. If you have to overfly these three areas. Yeah. So but this was also a doubt for me. Uh, it was there from Bhopal to Delhi. There are there is a restricted area. So I, I you have to. You have to check other information to see whether your flight level and restricted flight level are mismatching or matching are the same or not. Okay, sir. FIR assigned by who? Uh, just keep it also parked. Hot mic generally, uh, we can consider anything to be hot as in anything to be active at that time. So we would need to see what is the reference from where you are getting it to keep it parked. Rest I say again, I say again, we have clarified. Radio check is the check of radio systems on all available frequencies that we have. Certain aircrafts will only have VHF. So we'll do a radio check on VHF. A simple radio check is a readability check. W1, W2 frequency, readability scale, ascending, descending, and then the phrase, how do you read? Pre-flight check is a check that comprises of all the prescribed pre-flight checks for a particular departure. They will not only have radio check, but they will have primary control surface checks, light checks. They'll have checks with respect to uh, warning devices and a lot of things. For us in RT exams, pre-flight check will mean radio check only. Radio check will mean radio check. Now, pre-flight check means you have to do the check before you can request for startup. We do this check to establish that all essential uh, equipments are working before we request for startup as a final part of the final check. If none, some of them are not working, then we have to delay or cancel the departure until it is fixed. The issue is fixed. So when I'm talking about pre-flight check, I have to do it on VHF and HF if I have both communication systems. And when I'm doing a pre-flight radio check, I call it a pre-flight radio check. On the other hand, radio check can be done anytime. It can be done anytime in air also, ground also, on demand also, or whenever you feel the need to do a radio check. Okay. Whenever pre-flight check is in picture, you have to proactively do it on VHF first and then on HF. When it's done on HF, it becomes a pre-flight cell call check, which has to be done on secondary and then primary. So it's a very simple funda. Readability check is just to check your present readability on the present frequency with the present ATC. It is not for the all frequency or all systems, just presently. So it can be done anytime. Victor Tango, Delta, Papa, Sierra, Mumbai ground, readability check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How do you read? You will give me a reply as per the readability. Pre-flight radio check has a process. Generally, readability check, we don't have to give. Uh, the readability scale, but it's good if you give. But pre-flight radio checks or pre-flight checks with respect to RT, both are one and the same. You have to give the whole readability scale on VHF. Ideally, on VHF, when you do it, you are assigned HF primary and secondary frequencies. If they are not pre-assigned to you in your briefings, communication briefings and other briefings. So we be on the lookout. If ATC in exam is giving us those frequencies, we keep a note. And we simulate or we assume that those are the frequencies we'll be communicating with all FIRs, primary and secondary. Okay, are you understanding everything? Yes, sir. I understood. Hmm. Rest, uh, whatever we have parked, just make a list on text and park it over text so that we don't miss out on them. Okay. Understood? You will yes, have sir. a recording of this part of the session whole. I made a playlist under your name. You can always go through this part again to hear the solutions. But yes, understanding sir. is important. I know you will catch it. 
So when you see the solution to your doubts, don't you realize it's easy? It's obvious. It's yes, sir. Uh, very easy actually. I I was confused between pre-flight check and radio check. I mean, I radio. Okay, these are good questions. Way. These are good questions. Don't worry. Any question is a good question. I've still written cell call markings on charts. Maybe somewhere something might be there printed for easy reference. We don't know. So it's always good to verify and rule out certain possibilities. So don't worry about that. In case you come across any more questions, do send it across. And Roger, we'll discuss them. Just send me a list of the ones. Hot mine, FIR assigned, and uh, sit star, and take us failure on ground, okay? Yes, sir. And cell call marking on charts also, you add there. Everything is simple. You have logical reasoning, good. It will help you. That's how you have to take it. Okay. So, no, if possible, can you please repeat the two questions that uh, were pending? Just can you scroll upwards, sir, if possible? Yeah, uh, hot mic, FIR assigned by FIR assigned. Sid Star, Tikka's failure on ground, and Selkal marking on charts. Five. We are parking five for now. Yes, sir. Okay. Any more questions? Negative, sir. Good. Now, with respect to part one, Viva, I want you to follow certain instructions and I want you to use and follow those instructions before you start solving the paper in exam. Please listen and follow consciously. That's all you have to do. If you do that, you will see you will be scoring really good marks. Okay, sir. Instruction number one, read the flight plan properly. Track the route properly. Check the correct chart. Okay. Check your call sign. And then check departure call sign. And check arrival also. Basically, when you read flight plan, everything else gets taken care of. You have to be very careful about it. The moment examiners hand you the paper, they'll say you can start transmitting. That should not make you rush. You should still execute this strategy. Very important is other info. Somewhere or the other, if there is anything in the other info, it will be used in one of the calls. That should be your idea and you should be on alert. Okay. Once you have done this properly, it doesn't matter how much time it takes. You will then read instructions. Instructions would be at least five if they have not changed or revised or updated. In the instructions, you will see answer all the questions in ascending order. Continue answering questions until you're told to the next question. Go to the next question. Use hypothetical values of radials and DMEs. And whenever you're transmitting a call at any time, write the time near your question number only. Try to practice that today. If you're trying to transmit a call, let's say anywhere 1550, then you write that question number one, alpha, 1550 hours. And then only you start transmitting. Whatever estimates you'll give, will be with respect to this with with this exercise you don't have to say time now in your call this gets skipped because you have already written the time try to do that and then of course use as much as aviation language and phraseology that you can use these sir, are the instructions uh, sir if possible can you give me a small example of a call on this what you just have to write the time of the call here okay. near the question number. It is an instruction given to you on the question paper. Okay, sir. Okay, it sir. Could be, it could be any call. It could be startup call, pan pan call, mayday call. You will be giving estimates, right? You will be giving okay. estimates based upon present time. That present time, as per the flight plan, you have to write near the question paper. It is an instruction given to you in the question paper. Okay, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Understood. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ideally, it has to be done for all questions if you are going to give time estimates. Yes. You want an example? What example? If Let's say if your estimated time of departure as per flight plan is 0015. And if your question number one alpha is startup call. Then what would you do? Answer over here. Answer you'll write 
0015 and then give the startup call sir yeah simple so, under, understood sir understood very good very good no problem you have to be careful you read this done everything now you read question number 1 1 alpha bravo charlie read the question paper understand the question paper and know that this question paper is not a theoretical paper these questions are not just set questions which will have set answers these are situations that you as a pilot along with your aircraft and whatever payload you are carrying will be experiencing and you imagine yourself in the pic seat and understand the situation as per the situation you have to just make a call before you make a call you will frame the call to be made in your mind by checking the correct atc on the chart by verifying your call sign by verifying whatever you are going to say comparing it with the call structure whatever you have studied and that has to be done in your mind before you start transmitting the importance of doing this is that you will minimize mistakes when you are transmitting a call or logging a call simple once you have framed a call in mind let's say the first question is request time check so it will be like okay time check okay where am i i don't know you read the next question it will give you an idea where you could be all questions will be in continuation of the flight but they might not be consecutive but all questions are related to just your one flight which you will be flying as per the departure and arrival so there will be a flow of events connecting all the situations together if my question number 3 has an engine failure where i have to return and land to my departure aerodrome quickly then my question number 4 and 5 would be related to that departure aerodrome only they will not go to my destination aerodrome because i am on my way back to my departure aerodrome so such should be your logical understanding about the paper and you'll realize that this is the easiest exam in the world it's a simulation without actually having to fly an aircraft you just have to communicate and in this communication you have to use whatever you have studied so far w1 w2 should be correct w3 w4 w4 why are you calling straight from the question where are you straight from the question so it's almost as if 50% answers you will already know what to do so this is how you have to address every question now let's say you have done one question atc doesn't you have given the first call atc doesn't reply give 5 to 10 seconds to atc to reply if they don't reply then just raise the same station again but at the same time check if you have called the right atc or wrong atc sometimes in rush we tend and we tend to call the wrong atc and atcs will not reply because they are not tuned to that frequency is what they will be simulating so any time beyond the alert if atc is not responding it means either you'll check the right atc whether you have called the right atc or if you think you have called the right atc then you'll just raise the station again just raise the station again don't give the whole call again after raising the station just wait 5 to 10 seconds if no response then go to the next atc and just raise the station of the next atc don't give the whole call this is how actual communications happen and this is what you have to simulate there so even if you make a mistake this strategy will help you cover the mistake and the mistake would be of calling the wrong atc like that but if you are thinking the call in mind before doing it then you'll not be able, not be making the mistake of calling the wrong atc now let's say the call is done atc gives you a reply give instant read back and remember to end with your call sign if you miss out on something that atc has said you'll just say uh, w1 w2 read you to say again after the last word that you heard then they will say i say again they will continue from where you could you have missed it they land with the call sign all this communication you have to write there wherever it is and then once the whole clearance is noted by you half there half here you'll give a consolidated read back half from the upper part half from the lower part as a as a part of one call of your read back and then they will acknowledge following yes sir couple of more things if you end up making a wrong call as a part of your first call you can simply say disregard but you use w1 w2 and then say disregard and you will also write that okay next if you are told to go to the next question you can take 
time to start the next question. You don't have to rush. So you just take your time and start the same strategy, frame it in your mind, check everything. Only then start giving the call for real. Are you following? Yes, sir. Following. Do not worry about time. Don't look at the time. Now also I'll be sharing the question paper on screen. You don't look at the time on the computer. You just go with your training and focus on accuracy. When you are saying question number, you have to say, you have to confirm which question number you are giving answer for. So you can say question number one, alpha. Don't say transmitting question number one, alpha. It's unnecessary. The word transmitting will cost you a few seconds. And that you do for all seven, eight questions, we'll lose a minute or two there. Simply say question number one, alpha. Question number one, bravo. Question number one, Charlie. Simple. That is something you can speak fast. Be very careful. Look at something. If you don't know something, don't be scared. Individual questions will carry individual weightage. Try to score 20 on 20 on each question. Certain questions which you think you don't know anything about, try to score 50 to 60 on 70 on them. The only thing that you would not know would be intent. Rest everything you would know. So at least do that. Simple. Yes, Got it? Yes, More sir. More than quantity, focus on accuracy of each question understood everything understood sir take a minute or two go blind i will also go blind we'll simulate that i'm seated behind you just like in real life and no multitasking nothing just your logbook your chart and uh, the chart will also be shared on screen but you can use your own chart uh -huh. and the moment you get the paper just take a screenshot of picture and then you can take the screenshot you can use the phone also, or you can use the on-screen paper also. Make sure your phone is on DND if you are doing that. Understood? Yes, sir. So now we are going blind. You just soak everything in and think about what I've given you. At the same time, we'll imagine that you are in the exam hall waiting to be called. The moment I'll call your name, I'll start uploading. I'll just show you the paper. I'll say you can start transmitting and you'll start the way I've asked you to give your mock. Understood? Any questions? Understood, sir. Hmm. Chalo, let's go blind. All the best and note that this is just a practice session. Whether you score good or bad, we're only looking at areas of improvements and accordingly study ahead. All right. So don't be too attached with the scores. Just focus on giving your best and taking an experience. Roger, sir.
Okay, Dev, please come to the exam room and stay on unmute. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, can you see the paper? Yes, sir. Affirm, okay. sir. You can start transmitting. Question number one, alpha. Delhi, ground. Victor, tango, tango, Yankee, papa. On frequency one to one decimal niner. Stand two. Airbus A3 correction Airbus 3 to 1 heavy Delhi to Kolkata passengers on board Two zero zero security checks cleared. Request push back and start up information, Charlie. Victor Tango, Tango Yankee Papa, Delhi Ground, Startup Not Approved, Your FIC Has Expired. Startup Not Approved will obtain fresh FIC Victor Tango Delta uh, correction Victor Tango Tang Tango Yankee Papa Go to next question
विंटर करेक्शन डेली ग्राउंड विंटर टैंक क्वेश्चन नंबर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ब्रावो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन आई से अगेन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ब्रावो डेली ग्राउंड विक्टर टैंगो टैंगो यांकी पापा ऑन टैक्सी वे चार्ली पैसेंजर हैज फॉलन and is unconscious request taxi back to apron and medical service says on uh, upon arrival passenger is a male age 40 go to next question Delhi ground. Please confirm question number. Question number one, Charlie. Delhi ground. Victor Tango, Tango Yankee, Papa. Stand. to airbus 321 heavy delhi to kolkata passengers on board 109er security checks cleared request startup information charlie go to next question डेली क्वेश्चन नंबर टू करेक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू डेली टावर विक्टर टैंगो टैंगो यांकी पापा लाइंड अप रनवे Two seven disregard pan 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 
Delhi Tower Victor Tango Tango Yankee Papa Lined Up Runway Two Seven See Grass On Fire Near Intersection Charlie and Lima Request Fire Fighting Services Will Hold Run will hold position correction will hold position go to next question Delhi control uh, question number three Delhi control Victor Tango Tango Yankee Papa Time one 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 four five over Kadas Root Romeo four six zero flight level two niner zero received bad Weather warning ahead. Would like to deviate. left by one five nautical miles climb flight five climb five hundred feet maintain flight level two nine five on deviated track till clear of 
whether request clearance go to next question Varanasi, uh, question number four. Varanasi control Victor Tango Tango Yankee Papa position zero five DME. Outbound Varanasi on radial one 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 road Romeo four six zero. Flight level one one zero estimating. Gaia one two three zero ETA Kolkata one two four five Varanasi control Victor Tango Tango Yankee Papa. Go to next question. Question four, Bravo.
कोलकाता अप्रोच विक्टर टांगो टांगो यांकी पापा जीरो फोर नॉटिकल माइल्स इन बाउंड कोलकाता को पायलट इंक्रीज थ्रोटल Sir, can I proceed to next question? Four bravo is not done. Negative. So this regard Kolkata approach Victor Tango Tango Yankee Papa zero four nautical miles inbound Kolkata. Please, uh, Go to next question. Question number five. One. Aircraft is requested deviation by one seven nautical miles due line squall next holding uh, question number five two Holding over non directional beacon Delta Papa below level three five hundred feet. Not permitted. Next question five three. No change in runway and light operations. Next. Main question number four maintain rate of descend six zero zero till altitude five thousand feet. Question number five, fifth. Did I say go to next question? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Go to next question. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव फाइव एरोनोटिकल इंफॉर्मेशन रेगुलेशन एंड कंट्रोल इज इशूड by directorate general of civil aviation okay good please submit your logs over where we chat roger sir take your time रीजन What do you think was not proper? Analyze. Give me a little bit of analysis. Um, so, third question. I mean, I, I really don't know if I did the right thing of. doing the deviation because mm -hmm. bad weather warning i received bad weather warning but as per procedure you have to turn left or right and climb 500 feet mhm mm but i i mean i i got confused over there but then i still gave this call mhm mm then question number 4 uh so the right atc i think i should have called uh, varanasi approach instead of control because i think we were continuing at flight level 110 because that was our last clear flight level say again i think my last clear flight level in was 110 in question number 4 alpha mm -hmm. 
and one more mistake that i was doing is as per your instruction which i which you told me that tell the question number which are transmitting first and then give the answer i i've made that mistake continuously in every question and i started getting nervous knowing that i made that mistake mhm mm why do you think the same mistake is repeated again and again like you know it once you know it twice but why do you think you would repeat the same mistake again and again because uh, practice probably i don't know sir that's that's not good good or bad examiners will decide what you can control is your performance so when it is all in your control to perform and to not make mistakes then why do you think you will end up making mistakes same mistake again and again there are two ways you can give the exam one is by force and one is by choice which one is it do you think are you just doing it do you pressure just because this is one of the requisites to become a pilot or you are doing it by choice that yeah this is one of the requirements to be a pilot things are not going to change everything is the same it's just about a perception so what is it for you like i want to understand is it just another headache another paper that you have to study day and night and struggle with it or is it a subject that you need to master because it will be a part of your everyday life when you'll be flying as a commercial pilot everything that you study in cpl ground study phase is 100% practically applicable in your flights whoever says it's not practically applicable they have never seen the link so i would say they are better pilots than them just think about it you have asked to not make some mistakes but you are making those mistakes it's so illogical it is so illogical why now we are trusting you with the flight but you are not trying to do the right thing then that would result into incident and accidents so it is in your hand if you think and if you think about safety then you'll not make such silly errors and this is the first instruction i gave you before you started the mock think and then answer think and then answer that was a common element that i saw was missing you were not thinking you were just trying to give answers to questions you were not thinking as a pilot you were not thinking before communicating you were not thinking during communicating you were doing some communication but you were not doing the communication with respect to rt there were good points from rt but not ultimate points from rt now you only tell me as a student why would you do this when you have done everything that you should when you are a good student when you are a good candidate when you are a hard working person you explain the psychology and then we'll do the feedback this is your session this is for you i need you to answer we are a team as a team i am asking you this question you have to reply i have to think and answer properly sir what you said is right but i want to understand you tell me as a student psych you help me understand why would a student do this so that we can you know uh, help everyone not just yourself try to explain try to go back in your mind and see at the time of doing this why are we not doing it correctly or rightly as a student so if you can explain i can help you with certain techniques to not do it ha na quick 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 we don't have time sir uh... don't see i told you don't be attached to the scores and anything we are learning i want you to acknowledge and discuss so i uh, after when you said about that instruction where uh, you have to tell the question number and then transmit which question 
like you know first tell the question number and then start transmitting uh i think that one mistake led to a lot of mistakes but that is not even a major mistake that is a silly error examiner will just get irate are why you not confirming question number why you not confirming question number why you are repeating the same mistake again now one mistake will make more mistakes but will you allow that is it right for us to allow ourselves to continue making mistakes in a in a profession like this or should we work on our mistakes and not repeat our mistakes what will be expected from me as a pilot not to repeat mistakes so that is that earnestly should be there inside us and the same earnestly which you will be doing at the at the pilot seat which you have done which you will be doing the same you have to put here in the exam are you understanding yes sir you have to yes, feel like a master this is your plane for these 25 minutes so you have to act accordingly even if you make mistakes i need to see that confidence i need to see that attitude to fix the mistakes you are thinking of yourself as if somebody who is a uh, way below someone and that is seen in your performance why why should we put ourselves there when we are in the pic seat so you have to assume not just assume you have to feel that i have authority this is my plane 200 people in your paper you assume 200 people 200 people are trusting you the owners of the airlines are trusting you the investors are trusting you the whole world is trusting you then where is that confidence it should be reflected right yes sir that's the only thing missing nothing else you have so many good things in your paper but you have so many missing things in your paper i would say that i can see is uh, in a way where you're not enjoying it we are not feeling it but you're very scared of it understand this paper is a simulation of putting you right in the pic level right at the pic level without type rating so it's very difficult i can understand but now that you have studied so much now that you have flying experience now that you have so much with you where is the confidence you have to think of yourself as best i am saying this to you right in front of you to you you have to think you are best you cannot consider yourself to be someone who is not best i need that blind confidence to be reflected in the way you are going ahead with your rt prep can we work on it yes sir I because you deserve it. it dev are you understanding oh just so it won't be over confidence you need to have that because you are a person like that yes sir yes firstly so obtain push back and start up clearance simple call three question eight eight marks each seven seven marks each i can assume because 20 divided by uh 3 would be somewhere 7.33 or maybe 6. Point, uh whatever the ratio would be 6. Point what 6.666 maybe okay yes sir so simple you didn't mention flight rules yankee means ifr first then vfr they have sir, given i us... got a doubt over there sir actually now i was going to mention the flight rules but i did not mention it because i was because i was stuck on one thing thinking that it is only ifr and vfr that we have to put like obviously see dev i'm giving you techniques listen and register them in your mind they are yes, only sir. going to help you yes sir whatever you have doubts you have to come up with your own solution quickly and make the decision you cannot get stuck you are the pic okay If you think Yankee, what is the meaning of flight rules, Yankee? So flight rule Yankee means first IFR and then VFR. Good, that is correct. You are correct. Where is the confusion? You resolve the confusion on your own, looking at what is given to you. Resolve the confusion, looking at what is given to you. Route four six zero, Delhi to Kolkata. Quickly track it on chart. Is the same route going across Delhi to Kolkata? Look at it. Yes, sir. See Romeo four six zero Lucknow, Romeo four six zero Varanasi, Gaya Romeo four six zero Kolkata. Yes. Now you know 
IFR would be higher flight level, VFR would be lower flight level, correct? Because visibility, Yes. we cannot see. VFR flight levels are not more than a certain limit. 150, 160 will be max. Now look at the route. Route is 460. Golf Golf Charlie, VOR Golf Golf Charlie, which you have already noticed when you are tracking, will be Gaia, Golf Golf Charlie, and then flight level 110. Is that not enough a hint to decide when is IFR, when is VFR? Think about it. Yes, sir. Use your resources, resolve your doubts in quick time with confidence. So passing flight level one five zero. Okay, so What 150? There's no 150 here. yes, so changing from IFR to VFR. Yes, cancelling my canceling my cancelling my IFR IFR for for VFR. VFR. Request descent to flight level 110 over Gaia. This would be your call. If you are going to make a call. So till Gaia flight level 2900. After Gaia flight level 110. Simple. You will be having all answers in the paper itself. You just need to have the confidence that it's a jigsaw puzzle. All pieces are with me. I have just to connect pieces to make a picture. So you had a confusion, you skipped it. Why? Because you are on defense. If you be on defense, your performance would be like that. So I need that confidence there. So firstly, in your startup call, let's analyze quickly. So are you understanding the main problem, where it is? Yes, sir. Understanding, sir. Just be aware. And be confident. Meko karna hai. I want to do it. What's happening? Okay, okay. Most probable answer would be your most accurate answer there. You cannot be stuck. They will not give you situations where you'll be stuck. And if you're stuck, that chances and probability of that happening is only 5 to 10 to 20 to 15 percent. That's it. Still, you'll be getting 80 percent in the paper. Now, when I'm talking about your startup call, firstly, Frame the call in mind so that you have fluency in speaking. Secondly, write your call and then start transmitting. So what happens when we frame a call in our mind, we already know the call. It's short-term memory. Then when we have to transmit it, we be aware about all situations. The pilot does a lot of thinking, real-time thinking, real-time transmissions. Then you say, Delhi ground, Victor Tango, Tango, Yankee, Papa, on one to one decimal liner. Don't use the word frequency. Don't have to say it's obvious. Okay, so Stand to IFR Delhi to Kolkata VFR from VOR Golf Golf Charlie to Kolkata flight level 110 Airbus 3 to 1 heavy carrying Hazardous material, passenger on board 200, security check cleared, information Charlie, request push back and startup. Not much difference between your call and my call, but I had fluency. I was thinking about it as a pilot. I've got myself there and I'm using everything given to me. Other information, special handling, hazmat, hazardous material, notes are given to you, abbreviations are given to you. I just have to say that. How to explain IFR first than VFR? This way, you can say IFR Delhi to Kolkata. IFR flight level 2900 till Gaia. Thereafter, VFR flight level 110 to Kolkata. I can say it like this also. That would be much better. If I try the same call again, I'll make it much better. If I try the same call again, I'll make it much better. This is the same idea of first framing the call in mind and then they were giving the call live. At least your second time call will be better than the first time call. Carrying hazardous material because special handling, security check cleared, everything is the same then. But fluency. There was so much of dead air after stand two. You said passenger on board, not didn't realize what you said, but everything else was fine. But it was not confident. It was a good thing that you said, uh, startup not approved. Here, give a read uh, acknowledgement or read back of this also. So you have to say this also. FIC has expired. And then say, will obtain fresh FIC. Okay, and here, you had so much of fumbling with ending your call sign. Unnecessary fumbling.
sir you i said... got confused i think in this question i got confused with my call sign and i so and... you are going with auto suggestion and not with what you have learnt control logical reasoning situational awareness yes sir. own the situation own the situation this is something new this is something different this is something that we have just studied we need to be alert we need to be aware technical ko zyada issue nahi hai it's just that these things if you work can work upon like just guide your mind like ha ye hai acknowledge and just feel you are working on it and it will click it's as simple as that nothing to yes, nothing sir. to worry about but a lot to understand right now understand what i'm saying and everything else just click like it should give you goosebumps or something like this yes. see no situational awareness victor dango delta papa sir are नो सिचुएशनल अवेयरनेस अरे इसके कैसे नींद में आ गया क्या प्लेन उड़ाने को ऐसे कोई बोलेगा फिर जाओ बेटा अच्छे से पढ़ के आओ नेक्स्ट अटेम में आना दिस इज व्हाट दे विल डू देन एंड देन करेक्शन इज नॉट सेड एंड सी यू वर फंबलिंग इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी कॉल विक्टर टैंगो 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 यांग की पापा फॉर अस आरटी दिस इज योर कॉल साइन वी आर लाइक अरे ये कौन सी प्लेन आ गई इंडिया में तो ऐसे कोई प्लेन है नहीं कुछ अलग आया लगता है एक्सपेरिमेंटल एयरक्राफ्ट आया लगता है So you are not being careful about the rules. Also, I told you about correction. I told you about correction. disregard. That also you didn't use. It means you forgot your training. अभी training ही भूल जाएंगे तो दिखाएंगे क्या exam में? Subconscious को आधे ही training याद है. आधे में काम नहीं जमेगा. Conscious को बोला आधा याद दिलाने को. That's it. अभी आप बोल सकते हो सर lack of practice. मैं बोलूँगा नहीं. You show me your will. क्या lack of practice? ऐसे तो फिर तीन तीन साल ले लो आप एक चीज करने को बहुत माहिर हो जाओगे आप उस चीज में नो no, ऐसा नहीं है हमें जो करना है कॉन्शियसली उस मोमेंट में करना है एविएशन में कॉम्प्लिसेंसी का एक सिंगल पर्सन रूम नहीं है yes, इसीलिए चेकलिस्ट हमेशा रीड आउट करनी होती है yes, सब कुछ बार बार करना होता है मेमोरी पे कोई काम नहीं करना होता है पायलट को कभी भी नहीं करना होता अलाउड ही नहीं है समझ रहे हो तुम तो इसलिए सर प्रैक्टिस विल मेक मी परफेक्ट वाला एप्लीकेशन यहाँ आता ही नहीं है एक टाइम के बाद आपकी आपके एयरप्लेन के लिए फील होगी वो बहुत एक्यूरेट होगी बस वो आपका क्या बोलते हैं उसको दैट विल बी दैट वी कैन कंट्रोल एज द फील ऑफ योर मूवमेंट्स एंड एयरक्राफ्ट मूवमेंट्स विथ प्रैक्टिस वुड बी सुपर परफेक्ट बट दैट इज ऑटोमेटिक विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग योर एयरक्राफ्ट वो एक है जो अपने आप तुम्हारे बॉडी में आ जाएगा इनिशियली जब आप फ्लाई करते हो तो आपको कॉन्शियसली करना पड़ता है इसलिए कभी कम होता है कभी ज्यादा होता है कभी कम होता है कभी ज्यादा होता है धीरे धीरे वो स्मूथ होता है दैट इज द ओनली थिंग दैट योर बॉडी ऑटोमेटिकली एक्सेप्ट बट देन वेदर कुछ चेंज सेम वेदर सिचुएशन विल नॉट बी द सेम समाइम्स ड्रैक कुड बी लेस कुड बी मोर वेरिएशन रहेंगे ही रहेंगे यहाँ पे आपको बस कॉन्शियस रहना है और कुछ नहीं छोटी छोटी मिस्टेक्स के बारे में कॉन्शियस रहना है मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ मैं मिस्टेक कर रहा हूँ मैं उसको फिक्स करता हूँ आगे नहीं करूंगा कम से कम सात मार्क्स वाले क्वेश्चन पे जाता ना बाकी तो नहीं जाता बट आई एम नॉट वर्किंग ऑन इट आई एम लेटिंग इट गो नो वी हैव टू चेंज दैट आई गिव यू फोर ऑन सेवन हेयर बट यहाँ हम स्कोर नहीं देख रहे हैं तो स्कोरिंग का जाने दो स्कोरिंग विल डू इन योर नेक्स्ट मार्क क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ब्रावो आपने कुछ तो बोला पैसेंजर हैज फॉलन बट सेक्स सुनाई नहीं दिया हो सकता है डिस्कनेक्शन होगा यहाँ पर लेट मी चेक योर लॉग्स अदरवाइज योर लॉग्स आर गुड लॉग्स देख के लग नहीं रहा है आपने कॉल्स में इतनी दिक्कत करी है हाँ पैसेंजर हैज फॉलन वॉट क्वेश्चन में क्या दिया है पैसेंजर हैज फॉलन एंड इज अनकॉन्शियस ठीक है तो आपने yes. लिखा पैसेंजर इज फॉलन एंड इज अनकॉन्शियस ओके लिंक नहीं समझ आ रहा था लेकिन ठीक है बट तुमने लिखने में सही लिखा है सुनने में सही नहीं लिखा रिक्वेस्ट टैक्सी बैक टू एप्रन वॉज करेक्ट एंड मेडिकल सर्विस अपॉन अराइवल पैसेंजर इज मेल ऑफ एज फोर जीरो ठीक था यू कैन एड मोर लाइक पैसेंजर हैज फॉलन सिक और पैसेंजर हैज फॉलन डाउन एंड इज अनकॉन्शियस अपियर्स टू हैव हैड अ स्ट्रोक रिक्वेस्ट इमीडिएट टैक्सी बैक टू एप्रन एंड एमरजेंसी मेडिकल सर्विसेस ई एम एस एंड एफ एफ एस फायर फाइटिंग सर्विसेस ऐसे होते हैं 
So emergency medical services on arrival, passenger is male of age four zero years. Makes sense. Four zero bolna forty mat bolna. On taxi ve chale thik tha. बट यहां पे भी डेड एयर था काफी डब्ल्यू वन डब्ल्यू टू एंड वेन यू सेट ऑन टैक्सी वे चार्ली देर वॉज सम डेड एयर सो वो डेड एयर हमें नहीं चाहिए ओवरऑल ठीक था क्लियर नहीं था बट कॉल वॉज करेक्ट अगेन फोर ऑन सेवन में आपको दे सकता हूँ विच इज स्टिल अ गुड स्कोर फोर ऑन सेवन फोर ऑन सेवन लाइक एटीन ऑन फोर्टीन लास्ट वाले को हम सिक्स दे देते हैं यहाँ पर मुझे लगता है एग्जामिनर यहाँ शायद थ्री भी दे सकता है आपका आई एम जस्ट बीइंग जनरस बिकॉज लिखा हुआ ठीक लग रहा बट सुनते टाइम अच्छा नहीं लग रहा था यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग हिंदी राइट यस हाँ हाँ समझ सकते हैं यू आर नॉट जजिंग योर सेल्फ यू आर जस्ट लुकिंग एट एरिया ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट एंड अकॉर्डिंगली यू आर गोइंग टू डू वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू डू इन योर सेल्फ प्रेपरेशन मेनली रियलाइजेशन है पढ़ के तो हो गया है हमारा क्वेश्चन नंबर सी चार्ली रिक्वेस्ट स्टार्टअप एस पर रिवाइज मैनिफेस्ट गुड थिंकिंग की यू रियलाइज यू जस्ट से रिवाइज पैसेंजर ऑन बोर्ड यू यूज द वर्ड रिवाइज टू एम्फोसाइज ओके एंड एक्चुअल टाइम ऑफ डिपार्चर भी मैंशन कर दो तो अगर आपको एक्चुअल टाइम ऑफ डिपार्चर पेपर में दिया था वन 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 फाइव तो इसका आप इस हिसाब से टाइम दे सकते हो वन 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 जीरो प्रेजेंट टाइम एंड यू कुड हैव मैंशन दिस टाइम समवेयर क्योंकि पेपर में दिया है ए टी डी वन 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 फाइव ध्यान दिया था अपना मतलब ये बोला नहीं था सॉरी आई नॉट बोला नहीं था उसके बारे में सर कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं तुम देखो क्यों गलती हो रहा है उस पर काम करो मुझे तो लगता है जो मैंने बताया उन्हीं रीजन से गलती हो रहा है और कुछ नहीं हो रहा है इफ यू डिसग्री देन यू कैन टेल मी अदर रीजन ऑल्सो लाइक सर पता नहीं पेपर नहीं समझ आया ब्लैंक आउट हो गया देन स्ट्रैटेजी ब्लैक आउट हो गया स्ट्रैटेजी रिमेन द सेम यू बिलीव इन स्ट्रैटेजी एंड योर मिस्टेक्स वुड बी मेनिमाइज सिचुएशनली अवेयर रहना है अपन को बस इसका मतलब है हमने ऑफलोड किया वो बाकी तुमने सही समझा स्टैंड टू अभी स्टैंड का तो तुम्हें टैक्सी हमने दिया नहीं था तो तुमने वही रखा है हैवी डेली टू कोलकाता यहाँ पे भी आई एफ आर बोल देते आप फ्रेश एफ नंबर भी सिमुलेट कर सकते थे फ्रेश एफ आई अल्फा वन टू फोर जस्ट टू शो क्यों क्योंकि एक घंटा हो गया है अर्लियर डिपार्चर टाइम में एंड इस डिपार्चर टाइम में हो सकता है यहाँ पे भी वो लोग सिमुलेट कर देते ऑप्टेन फ्रेश एफ आई बट वो हमने पहले ही कर दिया एग्जामिनर शायद यहाँ करता वो चीज तो टू बी ऑन अ टू बी अड ऑफ द एग्जामिनर यू कैन सिंपली से फ्रेश एफ आई सी ऑप्टेंड एफ आई सी नंबर एल्फा वन टू फाइव डायरेक्टली तो एग्जामिनर बोलेगा ये बहुत समझदार बंदा है ये पायलट की तरह बिहेव भी कर रहा है पायलट की तरह बात भी कर रहा है सिंपल बिहेवियर का पाँच से दस परसेंट एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स शायद मिल जाए मार्क्स तो लैंग्वेज पे ही मिलने वाला है बट यहाँ बिहेवियर की वजह से कुछ मार्क्स कम हो रहे हैं हमारे बिकॉज हम मिस्टेक्स कर रहे हैं ऐसा हो रहा है आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग समझ समझ रहे सर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फायर फायर दिख रहा है पैन पैन बोलना चाहो तो बोल सकते हो यू हैव हजार्डस मटीरियल ऑन बोर्ड कनेक्ट द डॉट्स रिस्क है समझ रहे आप यू आर लाइन अप एंड यू सी ग्रास ऑन फायर This call can ideally be made like this. Assume where is the fire? You are saying intersection. If fire is too far away from you, what is your plan? What is your intent? आपने पैन पैन नहीं बोला मैं तो पैन पैन बोलता वो फायर स्प्रेड हो जाएगा फायर रन वे पे है प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है यार क्यों है रन वे पे मे बी फ्यूल स्पिल हो गया इसलिए रन वे पे है वो फायर और फ्यूल स्पिल हुआ तो किस से हुआ कौन से एयरक्राफ्ट से हुआ उनको आगे भी थ्रेट है डिपार्टिंग एयरक्राफ्ट थी या अराइविंग एयरक्राफ्ट थी so much could happen if we can try to think about the worst that could happen samajh rahe ho aap ha sir i would stick with pan pan if there is fire to aapne pan pan nahi bola yahan pe disregard aapko kaise karne bola tha w1 w2 disregard abhi abhi sikhaya aur abhi abhi yaad nahi hai tumhe please extra points chahiye galti karke to bhi aapko aise karna hai okay Delhi Tower, Victor Tango, Tango Yankee Papa, lined up runway two seven. See a see grass on fire near intersection. अच्छा imagination था intersection का. 
चार्ली एंड लीमा क्या है चार्ली और लीमा टैक्सी वे है रनवे है रनवे टैक्सी वे इंटरसेक्शन है क्लियर डिस्क्रिप्शन चाहिए क्लियर चाहिए तो सी ग्रास ऑन फायर नियर इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ रनवे टू सेवन एंड टैक्सी वे चार्ली ऐसे बोल सकते हो या टैक्सी वे टैक्सी वे वो भी बोल सकते हो जो भी है फायर इज ग्रोइंग कैन बी अ थ्रेट ऐसे आप अपने हिसाब से एक्स्ट्रा एड कर सकते हो ठीक है इनिशिएट करेक्शन रिक्वेस्ट एमरजेंसी फायर फाइटिंग सर्विसेस एंड फर्दर इंस्ट्रक्शन विक्टर टैंगो टैंगो यांग की पापा होल्डिंग पोजिशन कैरिंग हजार डस मटीरियल लाइन अप रन वे टू सेवन ऐसे एक और बार रिमाइंडर की तरह डाल सकते हो आप इट्स ऑल अबाउट बींग सिचुएशनली अवेयर टेकिंग द बेस्ट पॉसिबल डिसीजन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वॉट यू आर डूइंग इन द कॉल यहाँ पे आप आपके पास फायर है तो यू वुड से रिक्वेस्ट टैक्सी टू ऑल्टरनेट रन वे रिक्वेस्ट टैक्सी इंस्ट्रक्शन टू क्लियर फायर और टैक्सिंग टू द लेफ्ट टू अवॉइड इंक्रीजिंग फायर विच इज स्प्रेडिंग टूवर्ड्स अस आपके ऊपर आप कुछ भी बोल सकते हो बट कुछ तो समझ के बोलना है और और थोड़ा एलिमेंट डालना है वहां पर एंड मेरे हिसाब से तो मैं इसको पैन पैन लूंगा ताकि पता नहीं अब तक कोई अलर्ट हुआ है कि नहीं अभी हो जाएंगे अलर्ट और क्या पता वो फायर कोई छोटी क्रैश एयरक्राफ्ट से हो गया हो क्रैश व्हीकल से हो गया हो वी डोंट नो किसी ने बॉम्ब प्लांट किया हो वो फेल हो गया हो वी डोंट नो सो मच गुड गो रॉन्ग मेरे को लग रहा है वो बॉम्ब है तो मैं सीधा मेडे ले लूंगा वहां पे कॉल इट्स बेटर टू बी सेफ देन टू बी सॉरी ऐसा हो जाता इतना थिंकिंग रखो आप ये एग्जाम बहुत ईजी है क्लियर करने के लिए समझ आप समझ रहे सर तो ये कॉल में आपको और कुछ नहीं करना है यू हैव टू जस्ट बी यूजिंग पैन पैन एंड आफ्टर डिस रिगार्ड यू डिड से पैन पैन दैट वॉज वेरी गुड अच्छा प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड आया आपको दैट वॉज रियली वेरी गुड इंटरसेक्शन क्लियरली बोल दो विल होल्ड पोजिशन कुछ बोला बट यहाँ पे यू वो फम्बलिंग एंड देर वॉज करेक्शन एंड देर वॉज दिस अ लैक ऑफ सिचुएशनल अवेयरनेस वॉज ऑब्जर्व यू कैन आस्क फॉर ऑल्टरनेट रन वे इफ यूर रन वे इज ब्लॉक्ड You can mention other information, hazardous material. You have to think and speak. Simple. ये real time में मैंने लिखा था जो observation था. Good use of pan pan. किया आपने बाद में but सोच के करते तो directly pan pan बोल सकते थे. Because in your mind you would have figured out the mistake and only then you would have given the correct call. Even if you are giving disregard W one W two and then disregard. Please. Simple okay. questions है. Pan pan made it. Twenty marks के simple questions है. Highly scoring questions है. Is somebody calling you? You have to go. No, 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 sir. Okay. Simple question. You understood your mistakes. You just work yes, on them. Sir. Nothing big. I don't see anything big. Just couple of more imagination and couple of more details. That's it. Think and speak. Very important. Use disregard correctly. Very important. Same thing again and again. Question number three. You reach Kadas at one one four five. You receive bad weather warning over Lucknow. Take further action. For weather, we climb or descend three hundred feet. For RVSM, it is five hundred feet as a part of standard aviation procedure. So don't be confused. Yes, sir. Your call was not bad, but you were fumbling in time, and your time that you gave me was one 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 four five. Maybe because you were overwriting and speaking. You have to be crystal clear with your communication. You cannot fumble. You say correction and continue with the last correct phrase. It has been taught to you time and again. Carefully observe where Kadas is. Kadas is on a control boundary. You will be changing control. Chances are you will be going to the next control. The next control is shared by Lucknow control and Varanasi control. That awareness has to be there. Looking at the chart, don't be scared. Own it. See and be aware about the possibilities. Whenever you are mentioning route, you don't have to say route. It's okay. It's understood. Receive bad weather warning ahead over Lucknow or V O R Lima Lima Kilo. Whenever there is a mention of V O R, you have to say Lima Lima Kilo or V O R Lima Lima Kilo. Would like to deviate left by one five nautical miles, fumbling at. One zero nautical miles will climb three hundred feet. Then maintain flight level two nine or three. 
or maintain flight level 293 will fly parallel on deviated track because you're taking requests from ATC you can mention duration one zero minutes or you did say till clear of weather that was fine in the end you will say request weather deviation you won't say request clearance you'll say request weather deviation small things if you think and focus a little more you can work on these things not a big issue everything was good but not perfect and because we are fumbling and because we are little sounding that okay I am under pressure and I think I am not doing good. Everything was making your call less and less effective. Although sir, theoretically exactly. it was always good. Exactly, exactly, sir. That that part was there, what you said right now. No. In the exam, you are best. You have to fight for yourself. Even if you make mistakes, you have to fight for yourself. This is one chance. You cannot be the judge there. Are you getting me? You do whatever you do with confidence. I don't mind if you do the wrong things, but I want to see that confidence there. You don't be the judge. You do your best confidently, fight for yourself, work out your mistakes, hide your mistakes, whatever it takes. You do it with confidence. In your favor, you don't be a judge. No negative judgment towards self. Zero. No. Let them decide. Yes, no matter how yes, nervous you are, no matter how many mistakes you made, no matter how rude the examiner is, you ignore all that. No, I'm the best. This is my flight. I'm going to land it with positivity and with, with good confidence. That's it. Believe this. Okay, this is very important. This needs to be there. You don't be your judge. No. Let the results come out. Simple. Let them judge. Yes, sir. Question number four. Alpha, DME, 05, outbound, Varanasi. Carefully look. You're on FIR boundary. And carefully look at the question, give appropriate report. You are on FIR boundary, give report. Which report? FIR report. Yes, sir. Look at hints. Report. You gave me a call, but you didn't mention any report. Even if you're calling Varanasi control, you should have given me position report at least, but you didn't mention the name of the report. Look at the question paper. Give. Did you take a screenshot of the question paper? Sir, uh, I, I do not take a screenshot, sir. I told you the moment you get the question paper, take a screenshot or picture on your phone. See, real time instructions, if you will not follow, how will you apply them? So the question was, write it down. 05 DME, outbound, Bravo, Bravo, November. Yes, sir. 05 DME, outbound. Bravo, bravo, November. Give appropriate report to concerned authority. So take a hint from the question. Uh, track it on the chart. Where are you on the chart? You are on Romeo 460. You are on FIR boundary. Report has to be given as an FIR report. If not, still, see, I've shared the question paper with you. Give appropriate report. Why didn't you not give me a report? And what was this call hole about? Like, I'm not sure what this call was about. Can you explain? Vanessa control. And don't use commas and everything in your logs. Victor Tango Tango Yangi Papa. Position 05 DME outbound. Varanasi. Radial 111. Romeo 460, avoid writing route, flight level 110, estimating Gaia, ETA. What was this call about? See, again, logical awareness is less. Situational awareness is less. At least mention position report. Yes, if you're calling control, justify your answer by making it perfect. Ideally, you would have been expected to give an FIR report because you're on FIR boundary. Do you know the FI report? Which will be your ATCs here? Carefully look. Okay, wait. Mm, let me see the question paper again. Bravo, bravo, November. Yeah, outbound. Yeah, you're on Romeo 460. Radial 111. Yes, Delhi, Kolkata, FIR boundary. Oh. Look at the chart. Come on. Yes, sir. 
See, can you see the cursor? Yes. The screen? See, you are here. 0, 5 proc, 0, 5 DME here. This is the boundary. Here, report. Which report? Either you call Varnasi control. If you're calling Varnasi control, you have to say position report, which you missed. You could have given more elements. It's fine. Otherwise, it would be FIR report here idly. Delhi radio, copy call Kata radio, Victor Tango, Tango, Yankee, Papa. FIR report. Position 05 DME, outbound. VOR, Bravo, Bravo, November. Radial 111. Romeo 460. Flight level 110. Estimating VOR, Gol, Gol, Charlie. So and so time. Tepal, so and so time. ETA Kolkata, Airbus, revised passenger on board 179er, like this. Yes. Or kuch hai nahi, but it, there's not much, but there is still some more left that you could do. But here, my flight level would not be 110 because that will happen after Gaia. So you'll stick to flight level 290 till Gaia. Thereafter, flight level 110 VFR to Kolkata. This you could have mentioned in your call. Situational awareness. Come on. Don't you know how to speak all this? It's easy, right? But I will try properly next time. Are you following? Is it getting too much for you? No, no, no. I am following, sir. Don't worry about next time. Think about what you have done, what you could do. This is your area of improvement. This is your personal feedback. Yes, sir. How will you work on these things? Think about it. Where Have you understood it? Are you affirming that, yeah, I know my issues and I'll be, I, I know my areas of improvement and I will improve on them. If you're thinking yes, then what you could do, same paper you can take again as a part of self-study, real time somewhere in the evening today and just write all calls in real time. One, one call each. Don't write ATC reply. Write all calls. Any reply you have to assume should be the reply I have given you today in this. And yes. then read them and then correct them with a different color pen and then share that with me. And you will see so much of improvement in your own ability to understand why you are thinking there is so much of mismatch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What was your understanding? Good. What? Just tell me, what did you do, try to do here? What was it that you were doing here? What report were you giving to me? Sir, I was trying to give a position report, but I did not tell, I did not use the word position report. But you know how to do it, right? Yes, sir. Chalo, no problem, no problem. It will come to you, don't worry. Then you start, try to raise the station again. Good thinking. But uh, you should have given a few more seconds, but it's fine. Question number four, bravo. Look at the hint of the question. Read the question out loud. What is the understanding of the question? Where are you as per the question? Sir, uh, for four nautical miles inbound Kolkata, your co-pilot increases throttle. Four nautical miles. You are on finals. Yes. Finals. Yes, Anything sir. on finals, initiate missed approach and go around procedure. What will we say instead of co-pilot? We'll say Kolkata Tower, Victor Tango, Tango, Yankee, Papa, finals runway 27 or whatever runway you want to say. Experiencing high speed on finals, initiating misapproach and go around procedure. That's it. We don't sir, do blame I, game. Sir, uh, okay. I had this thought, sir. And then I just, I just rejected that thought. I thought I was wrong if I... No, no, go with your instincts. You have studied hard. Come on, you're a good student. Go with your instincts. Sir. Believe in yourself. Same thing. Be confident. Come on. Yes, sir. And it will not go to approach. It will go to tower. You're on tower. finals for the yes, runway. Yeah. Use disregard properly. This was again not properly used disregard. W1, W2, then disregard. Yes, sir. No problem. You have understood, right? Work on it. Simple. You know everything. That's the plus point. Question number five. Whenever you're saying rate of descent, use the unit feet per minute. Okay. 3,500 can be read as 3,500. So maybe they're trying to look at that. So don't say 3,500 feet. 
से थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फीट कपल ऑफ प्लेसेस वेर वी कैन यूज होल नंबर एंड थाउजेंड आर वॉट दे विल बी चेकिंग सो देर वी एज अ सेकेंडरी थिंग वी कैन सी इंडिविजुअल बट थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड कैन बी सेट थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड गो थ्रू दी एब्रीवेशन डॉक्स एंड क्रॉस चेक रन वे एंड लाइट और रन वे एज लाइट जस्ट वेरीफाई ऑन योर ओन ओके Rest Sir, actually, I fine. think there are two abbreviations: E N uh, R R E N L is end light, and R E D L is edge light. Good, that, good, good. That's what from what just I verify, just verify once, and send me a screenshot. Roger, sir. When you are verifying this, it wouldn't hurt to go through the R T part of the abbreviation section and just take a glance of all of them, Roger, especially sir. all the words that have come today in your call. You can keep a lookout for them. Simple. Yes. Really? Okay. Work on the feedback. Try to do whatever you think you have to do. Parallelly finish your part two. If it's not finished, just update me there over text. So, ah, uh, then... what I was doing all these days, ah, uh, for like the last three, four days, actually, I was learning part two, and I, and I thought I had part one in hand, and I just didn't practice only. Really. Much I was just reading part one, so it's it's okay, it's okay. You have done a very good job. It there are a lot of positives. They are not going to change. Don't worry about it. Ye hai tumare andar. That's your level of potential. You don't have to say anything other than have you understood the feedback? Have so you understood the thing right. shortcoming? Believe in yourself. Have situational awareness and execute the strategies that I've given you. Think before speaking. Cross check everything. That's it. No major issue. Everything was done correctly. When you have written them, they look more accurate than the way you spoke them. So that speaking thing is nothing but you will be doing eventually. I just need that confidence, and no matter how many mistakes you make, don't feel bad about it. Fix that mistake. Simple. The exam is not about speaking question numbers correctly. Everybody can do that. so that irritation is not going to make you lose marks be practical hai na don't yeah. judge yourself you will fight for yourself you are the best for those 25 minutes no matter who says what you have to believe you are the best you will see that way you will get 15 to 20% extra marks obviously yes sir okay yes sir share me the list of your doubts so that they are parked we'll discuss based upon the feedback after the session when you take a break just think about everything don't worry about reading studying notes just think feel if there are anything you would like to share or ask just text me about them reaffirm re strategize in your mind take deep breaths make a mindset what is required and then go ahead with what you are doing and give me a proposed date of when you would like to give me your next mock that would be a mock where we will have to be checking you Technically, with respect to how much you are scoring. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Chalo. I'll take your leave. If you have any questions, please ask before we leave. Sir, I've got not much questions. I have to improve on what I whatever I did today. I've understood, and I have to make sure I'll do it properly. Are you feeling bad or good? Sir, uh, I I could say both. <laughs> right now. Just take a few deep breaths and say, "I will only feel good about it because I'm learning, I'm growing." Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do it right now. No, I will not leave you with doubt. It doesn't work yes, well. I have seen students leave training, leave aviation also. Such can be the big doubts. No, sir. That is not going to happen. That's no. Yes, <laughs> see, see. So this confidence I need here also. You'll be like, "Sir, don't worry. I'll do it. I've I'll got it. it. I'll do it. Do it. I'll do it. Even if I'm not doing it, I will do it." <laughs> it will yes. be like that. Yes, sir. Okay. Just feel good. You are learning. You are learning. Focus. You have a long way to go. Yes, yeah, we, this mock you, practice is very good, sir. It has made me realize that uh, anything can happen. Yes, I'm very happy you're choosing to study even after clearing once doing papers. Very happy to see that you're going the hard way and the right way. This will yes, give sir. you benefits. Don't worry. All the best. Okay, I'm very happy with your performance. focus on what i have said and asked and shared think about it and do what you are asked to do yes sir the session is there for you to available to for you available to see any time if you want to i made a playlist under your call sign you can search and find it okay yes sir. and do tell me after you have done all the exercises 
towards the end of the night do tell me when would you like to give your next mark accordingly if i think i should do before i'll tell you or we'll do it in that time okay okay sir yes sir be positive and enjoy this yes sir and this is our first live we are seeing each other for the first time like i am seeing you for the first time so let's make happy thing out of it yes sir well, okay yes yes chalo i'll take your leave take yes, care okay you too sir thank you most welcome